The U.S. may be the only country that celebrated Thanksgiving yesterday, but that hasn't stopped shoppers from around the world from partaking in the post-holiday deals. Experts say it may not be long before Black Friday is a global tradition. In some parts of the world, big stores already offer American-style deals the last week of November. And according to a recent CNBC News report, stores that ship to various countries say they have noticed a spike in international web orders for things like shoes and handbags. So what does all this mean? Let's try and put it into a little perspective for more on holiday shopping. I'm joined by retailer analyst Britt Beamer. He's the founder of America's Research Group from Orlando, Florida. Britt, thanks very much for joining us. Well, Joel, thanks for having me. Did you have to fight the traffic to get over here? Was, was, was there Black Friday traffic in Orlando to get to the studio? I, I joke well, about it, but let's, let's, let's talk a bit about that. Why, sure. why do people do this? I mean, are the deals really any better? And if you can go to the Internet and many times find the same thing for the same price, you saw those pictures. Why put yourself through that? Well, so keep in mind, Black Friday is truly the unique uh, retail shopping experience in America of any other day of the year even though now it's been expanded to Thursday night, Friday morning, sure. it's the only time when retailers actually give the consumers an exact number and say, we only have 15 per store, 24 per store, we have 1,000 to sell. They give the customer an exact quantity, that way the consumer knows whether well, they have to stand in line for two or three hours before shopping the store, or maybe 10 hours before, before the store opens to make that purchase. So that's why the day is so unique. And let me just remind you, over the years that we've looked at this, I've, I've been studying Christmas out for almost 30 years, <laughs> the deals for those early bird specials on Black Friday are always the best deals of the season. For example, oh, TVs, I don't know about computers. that. I, I, I will differ with you on that. We may have to agree to disagree on that one, because I think you can find, if you look out there, the same things. In fact, I've seen some reports today that show those big items out there. I think they just lure you out with that. Well. I can tell you, having been studying consumers, and I've interviewed 10 million of them, <laughs> and a lot of them are bargain hunters over the years. For example, that Walmart 98 sure. uh, set TV set that they have for 32 inches, well, I mean, when, when that was gone, it was gone. And that's the whole thing. The, the early bird specials are the ones that can't be repeated. Now, there'll be some other deals out there. Right. But for example, last year, you know, when, when Walmart had a great price on a DVD player, I think for, for $39, mm -hmm. it was, it was, there was never another lower price that season. But I think the, the lowest price later was $59, but keep in mind, there's two other factors to think about about Black Friday when you, when you lay out the whole equation. It's the one time a year when consumers have that day to study. I mean, we know that about 92% of consumers on Thursday went and looked at those inserts in the paper, yeah, either, that makes either sense. buying them, and, and they, they studied them and they decided where to shop, or they went online to look at the retail websites to look at which which what the intercepts, what the insert said. Well, Bert, let's, so that let's, was what, that's one thing. And then the second thing is, is that they really prioritize. And what you've seen happen in the last three years, you now have what I call divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. You'll have one parent go to one store, <laughs> another parent go to another store, the child go to a third store. And, and last year, and this year we're seeing the same thing, many people got either two or three of those early bird specials if they made that effort. Okay, let's talk about what we've seen happen this year, and a lot of people don't like it, and that's opening up on Thanksgiving for shopping. Now, is that because there are six fewer shopping days this holiday season, or do you expect to see this in the future? Well, it's, it was a trend that started last year. You know, retailers finally broke that midnight barrier on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, last year, as you know, a few retailers opened at 8 o'clock. This year, they shoved those times up open to 6. Uh, I wish they wouldn't do it at all, but the fact of the matter is, is every retailer wants to be the first open because they want to get that first slice of the pie. Now, what's interesting is last year, if, if you look at that window of Thursday night to Friday morning, last year, 60% of consumers shopped on Black Friday morning, 40% shopped on Thursday evening. This year, those numbers, I think, are going to be reversed because what happened is the consumer said the mm -hmm. deals on Thursday night were better than the deals on Friday morning. Interesting. So you may see those numbers shift to be almost 60-40, 60 percent last night and 40 percent this morning. Let's try to put one myth to bed right now. I've, I've heard people say, oh, Black Friday, busiest shopping day of the year. Not true, correct? Isn't it the weekend before Christmas? No. There's two ways to look at it, Sean. The weekend before Christmas oftentimes will have a day that has more dollars spent. But last year, between 6, uh, by 6.30 last year, at 6.30 in the morning, 50.2 percent of consumers bought something at some store in America between 8 p.m. and 6.30 in the morning. So wow, that's the amazing. numbers on, 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 on Christmas Eve or, or the day before Christmas, we get for Christmas, that number may be in the 35 to 38% level, but 
What happens is, is because so many consumers will buy the early bird specials, okay. the transaction rates for, for Black Friday are lower than the consumers trying to finish up their shopping at the end of the year, which is why the dollars gotcha. always end up being bigger, Bert, but the shoppers are always bigger or more earlier. Great. Brett, I want to have you back because we have a lot to talk about. Thanks very much for, for joining us, well, and we'll find so out much. later on if this is going to become an international trend for at Beamer in Orlando, Florida. Thank you very much.